So it's one thing to say that the Vikings should trade down in the upcoming NFL draft from 12 to wherever, but it's another thing to actually put it into practice as well as calculate the haul that the Vikings could get for their valuable pick. And if the board breaks right, number 12 overall could be worth a lot. A lot. Uh, Chad Ryder, uh, NFL.com, fantastic uh, draft analyst. He did up a mock draft where the Vikings do trade down with the Pittsburgh Steelers. So let's dive in. Hutchinson, Malik Willis, a two to the Lions, which I think could happen. I, I really do. Uh, three, Ike Iquanu. Uh, four, Matt Corral. Ooh, spicy as Moy Caliente. Uh, Seahawks jump uh, and go up uh, for the Jets. Uh, five, the Saints uh, go up and trade for Kenny Pickett. So there's a run on quarterbacks. As there always seems to be, even though at the beginning of draft season, this was seen as not a great quarterback class, but the quarterback's tax is always in there, as well as you see the ballooning contracts with quarterbacks and wide receivers. Yeah, there's a man, no matter what the you know, perceived level uh, of the class. So three quarterbacks off the board. So all of a sudden, there's a lot of talent being pushed on the board. Evan Neal, Thibodeau, Trevon Walker, Sauce Gardner, Jordan Davis up at 10. Uh, the Eagles came up and got a nose tackle. I love it. Uh, 11, Garrett Wilson, G-Dub. So now Vikings at 12. Yeah, as you can see, they trade down with the Steelers who come up for the remaining uh, big four quarterback in Desmond Ritter. Uh, and there's a lot of talent still on the board. So Jermaine Johnson, Jamison Williams, Drake London, Stingley is there. Uh, so it, it it's going to have to be a juicy. Uh, Kyle Hamilton still on board. God damn. Charles Cross, my God. So it's got to be a, a damn juicy offer. So let's get into what they wrote. So they come up for Desmond Ritter, who I think could do great things with the Steelers eventually. Uh, GM Kevin Colbert was willing to give up a second and, uh, and third round picks to move up 10 spots to number 10 overall for linebacker Devin Bush in 2019. So it's not a stretch to think he will give up a future first and third rounder equivalent value to those aforementioned current year selections for a quarterback with maturity, poise, and striding open field speed like Ritter. So the Vikings get number 20 overall from the Steelers as well as a future first as well as a future third. I'm okay with that trade. Even though sticking and picking a guy like Stingley makes a ton of sense, I think that an extra first and a third and moving only moving down eight spots where you're still going to get a great player, I think that that is too much. Too much to turn down. And also, you look at next year. So the Steelers are going to have a rookie quarterback, and they've had issues all over that rooster, even with the corpse of Big Ben out there. And they could be ass next year. Thank you. Like they that first round pick from the Steelers could be pretty valuable. Uh, even though you know our guy Mike Tomlin has always been phenomenal. Uh, so I mean, if that ends up being a top ten, top five pick, and then the Vikings still have their first round pick at number thirty two overall. If they do want to move up for a quarterback, although Kirk Cousins then would have ipso facto won a Super Bowl, unless Kellamon came in. I don't know. Uh, but either way, the Vikings would have two first-round picks, one likely a very high first-round pick from the Steelers. And if they want to maneuver and get their quarterback of the future, like a C.J. Stroud, like a Bryce Young, like a Van Dyke, uh, etc., they would have that ammunition to go get it. And also the extra third-round pick, which also is going to be a high third-round pick in all likelihood from the Steelers. So, yes, even though there is a lot of friggin' talent on that board at 12, I think that that trade offer from the Steelers would be hard to turn down. And there certainly could be a, a run on quarterbacks early, and then you know a team wants to move up to get their guy. Or maybe one quarterback is taken, or hell, maybe even no quarterbacks are taken. All of a sudden, teams have their choice at 12, and they don't want to leapfrog a team like the like the Saints, who moved up to go grab a quarterback, et cetera. I mean, Panthers, bad beat, man. Uh, how are you sitting at six in a in a class that's not perceived to be extremely good at the quarterback position and then three get taken in front of you, including your guy Kenny Pickett, who was recruited to Temple by Matt Rule? Ah, so the Vikings are 20. So the miss out on Stingley, et cetera, it happens. Uh, but they move down from 12 to 20, and they still get Devin Lloyd, who is an absolute stud, pride of Utah, great leader, great in coverage, and can bring it. I really love me some Devin Lloyd. Uh, here's what they wrote. Uh, if the Vikings stayed at number 12, they probably still take Lloyd because he fits a strong need inside as they transition to a 3-4 system. He can do a little bit of everything, even though he doesn't test off the charts athletically. Yeah, that's the one thing that dinged him, but he is a player. Like, Just watch some Utah tape, and he is just a guy. Uh, him and Sewell just got after it, and Devin Lloyd and Eric Kendricks can form a nice duo. Uh, Jordan Hicks, I mean, he's a veteran rental. Devin Lloyd could and should be the future for the Vikings. So you still get a guy who is very highly rated, probably should have gone in the first half of the draft, and you have a future first and a third who are, who are probably going to be high next year as well. So I love it. I love it. Uh, Packers trade up. There's tons of trades, man. Right, so the Packers trade up, get the Greek Freak and Olave, Traylon Burks, Zion Johnson, and ZJ for the Cowboys. McDuffie falls all the way 25 for the Bills. So McDuffie and Tredavious White, that's a hell of a pairing, man. Sling and Sam Howell. 
26 to the Tennessee Titans, five quarterbacks in the first round. And Nicobe Dean, because they trade down for the Bucks or the trade up. Anyways, uh, they get a great leader uh, in Nicobe Dean for Rob Salah's defense. Uh, Petrie going to the Patriots. I mean, the Petrie. I mean, the Patriots just draft safeties all the time, and they're fantastic at it. It sucks. Linderbaum goes to the Ravens. Uh, also with the Ravens, Andrew Booth. Ooh, man, I love that pick. Uh, Devontae Wyatt going to the Bengals, as well as Drake Jackson uh, going to the Lions at 32. So, yeah, th- there's a-, a lot of things going on. I- is this a multi-round draft, or is this just one round? Like, can we see more? I- I'm intrigued now. I-, I have to zoom in and enhance. All right, second round, Vikings 46. Uh, Kyler Gordon. Ooh, ooh. So you suture up the defense. You got your linebacker of the future. You got a, a great cornerback prospect as well in Kyler Gordon. Fantastic. I, I love that. Uh, is there, there's any more trades, is there? I guess we'll find out. Uh, Vikings at 77. Uh, Vikings 77, Nick Cross. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nick Cross coming out, out of Maryland. Maryland's produced some pretty high-end safeties in recent years. So now the Vikings get three great young defensive pieces. I, I do enjoy that. Now, it's a future third, right? So the Steelers still hang on to their, their third-round pick. Or do they not have one? Doesn't matter. Anyways. Uh, but, yeah, the the Vikings, talking about a trade down, but actually seeing it in practice and seeing what the Vikings could get in this spot if the board breaks right uh, is extremely interesting. And I understand 12, it, you still have Jermaine Johnson and Stingley and Drake on the board, but Hamilton, friggin' A. Uh, but – a future first and a third from a team that could be bad. It's just too much. Just too much to pass up. And you still get Devin Lloyd. I I, I love it, man. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. Take a look at Chad Reuter's mock draft for the Vikings trade down from 12 to 20 uh, for a future first round pick and a third round pick as well. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts and his thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.